I don't know what the plan is for today. Maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll try that game out, but it's not confirmed. If not, maybe next variety stream. And I have a little thing to do in game that I was hoping I would never have to do, but here we are. All right, guys, it's time to buy a Soul Reaper axe. Listen, 350 mil now. Ah, yes, of course, yes. Well, you listen. If if I've learned anything about oh my god. Uh, well, at least it's not at 2.147 bill. Is the axe good now or something? The thing is, it's not even like better than it was before. It's just that Fang is worse and Scythe is still not amazing. All right, this thing better be fucking good. That's all I'm gonna say, man. That this thing better be fucking good. Consumes all soul stacks, attacking with increased damage and accuracy per stack and healing for eight health per stack, zero to five. Someone explain this weapon to me. <laughs> I don't know what it does, bro. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I mean, it looks cool, but this is the only place that it's good. So by the time I finish this boss, I'm gonna sell it and it's gonna be worth way less than it was before. That's cool, no problem. So I've like constantly be like reading what, uh, where I am on the special attack. Bro, this is kind of bad, no? I feel like I'm gonna die a lot. Don't use the stacks until the end of the fight. Bro, I'm dying though. What do you mean don't use them, right? Don't I have to or I'm gonna just keep- Oh, it doesn't hit you eights once you're fully stacked. I see. I don't care for this very much, but I'll try it. Should I just like sell it and take the loss, you know? God, dude. Um, interesting for sure. Definitely an interesting item. That was way better. Yeah, but bro, I'm three kills into the trip and look at my food. <laughs> I just realized they added this item and then the next update they added two-handed woodcutting axes and they just copied this exact model. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh my god, I tied my PB. You're kidding me. All right, well, listen. You got me there, game. Axe to scythe doesn't seem that bad. Seems pretty good. I think just like once you... You just kind of have to pay a, a lot more attention is kind of my only issue with it, but I'll get used to it, I'm sure, right? Haha. -ha. Thanks for the ride, bud. Nobody gets a free ride, pal. Listen, nice try. I just realized if you accidentally attack something, you lose just eight hit points. Don't even think about it. Nope, it's a stalemate, bro. Bellator or Ultor? I'm using Ultor. I don't know if it's if I'm wrong. Cause like with how inaccurate I am, maybe I should get Bellator. Bellator or UFC? I used to call it the UFC ring when, the, when it first came out. Bellator is for real fighters fighting for their family. UFC is soft now. <laughs> fighting for their families what are you talking about man the guys that are fighting for their families they're the ones in the smaller even worse paying division i thought the ones fighting for their families were the few the proud the marines no those ones fighting their families i'm sorry that's not oh god i'm sorry my bad that's not funny you know i was gonna make that joke about john jones but then you guys maybe like you guys like push that on me so it's really your fault not mine 40% of police are donating money to charity. Look up 40% of police for more info. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was more meaning the police. Not the anyway, it's fine. Whatever. Sometimes I like unfocus my eyes so my vision is blurry and then I see if I can still kill the boss. Anyways, just saying. They reduce the amount, how much a charge is. Oh, okay. So like one charge costs less blood runes now. So basically you have the same amount of charges in there, but those charges represent less blood runes. That's not really that bad to be honest. I'm going to be honest. That just kind of seems like you're complaining a bit too much No, For UIM, it matters. Why? Some UIM lost like 150k bloods. Oh, because they're storing their blood runes in there. Got it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, to be honest, like, do you really need more places to store items? Just keep them in your fucking inventory. I don't know, man. Like, honestly, I'm just sick of it, bro. I'm sick of every single fucking update. They have to, like, walk on eggshells because, God forbid, some fucking, like, poop-only account is fucking, you know, mildly inconvenienced by it. Like, brother, 
what do you want them to do? Just fucking de-iron. I don't like. What do you want me to tell you? Is that bad? Like, am I? I like Ultimate Iron Man. So this seems like a fun game mode. But at a certain point, I'm just like, bro, just de-iron if you're gonna treat it that way. That's not why you started playing the account. Iron Men have ruined the game. I'm not gonna say that, but I will say that when they released the Iron Man game mode, they specifically stated they would not release any updates that were specifically catered to Iron Men. And hearing that now is genuinely the funniest thing because like every other update is, oh. Who cares if they go back on that? It was like eight years ago, lol. You're saying they just started catering to Iron Man this year? Bro, it took them less than a year to start. They they released like Zora and shit, bro. Look at the fucking drop table for that boss when it came out. Iron Man is the majority of the player base now. That I think is just objectively not true, but it sure seems that way. Listen. <laughs> oh, should I go to Leviathan? <laughs> should I go to Leviathan real quick? I have every piece except for this one. Bro, there's just no way that I get it though. Maybe next stream. Well, I'm taking an Italian film course. Do you want to watch some of the movies together? Yeah, sure. What's up? What, what movies are you guys watching? Like um, uh, The Marvelous Mr. Ripley or The Talented Mr. Ripley. That takes place in Italy. When in Rome, Catch Me If You Can, Hannibal, The Italian yes. Job, The Lizzie McGuire Movie. All of these movies take place in Italy. Do you count like present day Italy? Cause like Passion of the Christ, um, 300, all those movies. That's Greece. Oh, same thing to me. Okay, let me look this up. Is Greece and Italy same thing? Ah, huh. uh, I guess not. Passion of the Christ was in Jerusalem, bro. I thought it was like Rome that like killed him or something. <laughs> I'm way off, dude. I don't know. Pretty soon you're going to tell me the talented Mr. Ripley is like in France or something. I was just wrong about all of those. <laughs> Bro, I am just stupid. I don't know, man. Something is wrong with me. Is Ro Rome is in Italy, though. Like the Roman Empire, bro. Am I stupid? Not this time. I'll take it. Thank you. That's a good answer when I say am I stupid. Rome ruled the known world, though. The known world. That is just like cheating, bro. That's so funny. Yeah, we rule the world. I mean, all of the world that we know about. <laughs> you could just say that about anybody. <laughs> yeah, I actually have all the pets on Old School RuneScape. All the ones that I know exist. I don't know. I think I'm as far as I know, I'm done. Does it matter if I'm right or wrong? The known world. Bro, they didn't rule the world. They ruled like one tenth of the world. Not even. One fiftieth, probably. They weren't even putting up Genghis Khan numbers. Genghis Khan was playing against plumbers. <laughs> you guys ever watch Ultimate Warrior? We've talked about this before, but that was like my favorite show when I was a kid. I would record every episode of that shit where they would do like Genghis Wheel Khan seven. versus... Joan of Arc or like some, I don't know, just like some shit like that where they would like have like hypothetical battles from of like historical people. They'd be like a mobster versus a ninja. That was like the best show ever, bro. You could really find out if they were playing against plumbers. The Vikings were definitely playing against plumbers. After all, they played the Raiders recently. <laughs> Shut up. The Raiders is like an overarching, you know, group that you can't quite pin down. So you can't say that they historically sucked could be anybody a lot of people raided they should really call them the pillagers that would be cooler that should be the basketball team here you know they suck historically as a franchise look man i hate to be that guy but like they suck recently historically they're pretty good i think before i was born i'll tell you that i hate to be a laker fan but uh they have a lot of rings from before you and i were born the nba is trash Look, man, no offense, but your name is Chess Dude. You know what I mean? Like, you kind of got to maybe be a little more self-aware than that. I'm just saying, like, LeBron James could learn the French opening, but Anders Carlson or whatever the fuck his name is, he could never do a fucking 360 reverse tomahawk. He can never put up, like, 10 and 5 on a Thursday night against the Pistons. <laughs> That's the kicker for the Packers. <laughs> Wait. What's his name? It's not Anders Carlson. <laughs> I wasn't even doing a bit. Like, I legitimately thought that was his name. I fully just thought that was Magnus Carlson. Yes, that's what I meant. I don't know, man. You know, sometimes your brain just absorbs things without realizing it. Do you know what I mean? Who do you think did the king's prostate exam? Who's the king? What do you mean? Elvis? There's a king of England? I thought it was just a queen. 
The king of Eng England has an enlarged prostate and is getting surgery. That probably feels good as fuck for the prostate. Wait, so there's a king of England now. Who is the king of England? I thought he died. That old guy? I swear to God, he died before the queen did, bro. Stop baiting, dude. I'm not baiting, bro. I don't know the fucking geopolitical climate of the UK. Why would I give a fuck about that? I'm, the, the, the America is not like the UK where they like are fucking weirdly involved with our politics and shit, bro. I don't care what's happening over there, okay? I don't know why they care about what's happening here. I am I swear to God, there was a guy who was like old as fuck. He was from England and he was like the king or the prince and he died and I made fun of him because I was like, bro, imagine you're like 800 years old. You never even get to be king. You have to die as like a prince. And now the queen dies. You guys are like, yeah, there's a new guy. Like, bro, I haven't heard anything about this. All I heard was that the queen died. No one was talking about, oh, there's a new king now. How the fuck do they find him? Is just some random fucking guy? Is that guy that makes the fucking Instagram reels where he's like, I oh, found a really good point in Dublin. That guy should be the fucking king of England. I'm gonna tell you right now. Do you guys know who I'm talking about by chance? Kind of a heavy set guy, shorter, has a mustache. He's always reviewing pints. You just described 75% of the men in the UK. Okay. His Instagram is prime mutton 2000 ABFR. Afternoon, mutton Easters. This is my last reel or review from my mini trip to Dublin and I'm at the airport and a lot of people have asked me how does the Guinness at the airport, particularly for those in transit, match up to that what you get at the pub? It's the most British guy of all time. This guy should be the king. Hey, that is pretty, de that is more than decent that is. So <laughs> don't worry if you're transiting here. If you want a Guinness, order one at the airport. That is, that is more than decent, Ron, that is. Evening, Matanistas. I'm at Manchester's Piccadilly station again. And unlike most evenings when I bring you a pint from the Piccadilly tap, which is usually after a football match, I'm actually taking a long distance train today. So this is what all British people sound like. better to go like. for a cheeky one. <laughs> oh yeah, beautifully kept that hoppy dryness, <laughs> the taste of grapefruit and tropical fruit. This is magical beer. Beautiful tap that there. This guy's awesome, dude. Yeah, so that guy um should be the king of England. That's all I was trying to say. I love you boys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.